Once you've polar aligned a star tracker, your ball head is left at an angle, making it very awkward to use, and sometimes leaving the weight of your camera and lens completely off center and hanging off to the side. So that's why I designed the Star Tracker platform to re-level your ball head, making it easier to use, but also to bring the weight of the system on top of the Star Tracker back over to the center of gravity. But they have a lot more uses than just that. So the V and Z Star Tracker platform both solve the issue of having your ball head at an awkward angle. Once your polar aligned with your Star Tracker, your ball head is left at an awkward angle makes it very difficult to do panoramas. And also if you want to get your foreground exposure, you sometimes find that you can't point your camera where you want to point your camera. So using the V or the Z Star Tracker platform, you can correct the level of your ball head and there's a, a bubble level on top. So I know where my ball head is nice and level. Now I've got much more freedom to aim my camera where I want and it also makes doing panoramas so much easier. There are levers on the hinge to lock the hinge into place. Those levers can also be pulled out and repositioned in case they're clashing with any gear. And then there's also a little locking lever for the rotation of the Star Tracker platform. So after a while, when the Star Tracker has rotated a little bit, you can just correct that rotation and lock it nice and easy. And we decided to use a thumb screw because it's very easy to lock and unlock, especially if you have gloves on. They both have another common use. They can both be used as an equatorial wedge. So between your tripod and the Star Tracker, you can use the V or the Z platform and they're great for polar alignment. So you can unlock the lever and pan your tracker towards north. And then you can also unlock the hinge and tilt your camera to do your polar alignment. So both the V and the Z Star Tracker platform can be used to level your ball head and they can also be used as a base for the Star Tracker to do your polar alignment. I've also really been enjoying this quick run and gun setup where I just got the V platform mounted onto the move shoot move and I leave it mounted onto the move shoot move in my bag. It's still a very nice compact system. And then when I need to do some star tracking, I just take my ball head off my tripod, screw on the V platform and the move shoot move tracker. Ball head goes back on. And then I can quickly do some polar alignment using the V platform aim at Polaris and then I'm good to start my star tracking. It's just such a quick run and gun setup. I've really been enjoying it. Nice and lightweight and just quick and easy to take your ball head off, stick it on top and get tracking really quickly. So what's the difference? Why is there a V platform and a Z platform? Well, the V platform was made for those who are a bit weight conscious. So if you're already close to the three kilogram payload, of the Move Shoot Move Star Tracker, you might want to save a little bit of weight and the V is a little bit lighter than the Z platform. The V also offers a little bit of simplicity because there's only one lever when you're working in the dark, it's nice and easy to just find that one lever, use the hinge and it's quick and easy. With the Z platform, you kind of have to put a little bit of thought into which lever you need and which one to lock and unlock. And the other thing with the V platform is that it's a little bit thinner. So it's a lot easier to pack. So that might be a consideration for you as well. But if you don't mind the extra little bit of thickness, the little bit of extra weight, the Z platform is a little bit more versatile. So this can be used instead of a ball head on a normal tripod. So when you're not star tracking, when you're just using a tripod and a ball head, this can be used to replace a ball head because it allows you to pan your camera and it also allows you to tilt your camera up and down. So as long as you've leveled your tripod, this can actually replace a ball head. So you might find other uses for it outside of using it with a star tracker. It can also be used when there might be a clash of equipment when you're using your star tracker. So for example, this image here from Stephen Barnes, which was shared in the Move Shoot Move Facebook user group 
you can see that he couldn't point his camera at his desired target because his camera was clashing with his geared head. So we used the Z platform to get a little bit of clearance so that he could aim his camera where he wanted. And with the Z platform, you can also use it to balance your gear a little bit better. So it's always good to have the weight centered over the rotating motor rather than hanging off the edge or hanging towards one side. You can kind of use the Z platform to balance your gear a little bit better. That'll give you better tracking and it will also save you a little bit of battery as well. And I'm sure that the more people get their hands on these things, the more uses you will find for them. So I've been using them both recently as a microphone stand and also as a tabletop tripod for my camera. So if I'm doing Zoom meetings or Zoom sessions or recording voiceovers, I've been using these as sort of little mini tabletop tripods. So I'm sure everybody out there will find many other different uses for these things. They're so versatile. They're so affordable and I can't wait to see what other people use them for. Now, yes, there are other Z platforms on the market, but I haven't been able to find one that is suitable for use on a Star Tracker. The main reasons is that most of them don't come the ability to lock the rotating dial here. So once you put it on your Star Tracker, it just falls down. There's no way to lock this rotation, but we've got a thumb screw with a lever so that you can lock that rotation into place. The second reason that I couldn't find a Z platform that does what I wanted to is because none of them really allow you to lock the hinges into place. A lot of them rely on friction and you have to use a hex key to tighten the hinges and then they basically work on friction. So if there's enough friction, it will hold the weight, but if there's not enough friction, it will just sort of close slowly. And then you have to take a hex key and tighten it. But we've got these levers, which are very hand friendly. You can lock and unlock very easily, even if you've got gloves on and you can absolutely lock this hinge into place. They're so strong. And there are some on the market that allow you to lock this hinge into place, but they only do so at sort of five degree increments or something like that. Ours allows you to lock the hinge at absolutely any angle that you need. And then lastly, we've got a spirit level on top. So you know when your ball head is level, a lot of them don't come with a spirit level on top. So because I couldn't find one that was perfect for what I needed, I took my design to the guys at Move Shoot Move and the process has been amazing. They created a prototype. I tested it in the field, gave them my feedback, told them what needs to be changed. And after four or five versions, we finally came to what I think is just a very neat and perfect and versatile solution. And it's just been a really exciting process to create a new product as well. So I'm really excited for you guys to get your hands on them. Now, a final bit of information, because I see a lot of confusion on online groups and Facebook groups and forums, but the, the screw thread that's on top of the Z and V platform is a quarter of an inch thread. Now that's the thread that is on the bottom of most cameras and photography accessories. But then sometimes ball heads in particular have a bigger thread. They have a three over eight inch of a thread. But all of the V and Z platforms come with little adapters so that you can screw that on top and convert the quarter of an inch thread into a three over eight of an inch thread and then put your ball head on top. So all of the V and Z platforms come with this adapter and it can also be used on the bottom of the V and Z platform. So on the bottom, there is a three over eight of an inch thread, which is quite big, fits on most tripods. But if you wanted to mount it onto something that was a quarter of an inch, you can use the same adapter and just screw it inside of that hole. And then that becomes a quarter of an inch thread. And then you can put an Arca Swiss plate on there, for example, or whatever it is you might be mounting the device to. So just to clarify, it does come with these little adapters, these little inserts, because I see a lot of confusion uh, on online forums about this. 
Anyway, I look forward to you guys getting your hands on these and there will be a link in the video description down below, of course. And if you find other uses, some interesting uses for these things, please do send them to me. I would love to see it. I'd love to hear your thoughts and any feedback you may have. So this is the V and the Z Star Tracker platform. And if you're going out to enjoy the night sky anytime soon, I wish you good luck and clear skies.